when I started, well, the reason that I got started investing in real estate is because I graduated from school as an accountant. Um, and the reason that I did that is, I'm sure you've all heard this, people used to say to me, because when I was young, people used to say, if you want to become successful, what do you have to do? You have to go to college, isn't that true? And ever since I was this high, I got the same thing. If you want to become successful, what you have to do is go to college, study hard, get a good education, right? So you can get a good job with good benefits and good pay, and then you can work for 40 years and retire. They didn't tell us that. <laughs> but isn't that the way it usually works? Okay. And so I worked as an accountant for about five or six years, and I just didn't seem to be getting where I thought I wanted to be getting. So I started looking around for something different to do. Uh, and I didn't know what to do, because all I knew was how to have a job and work for somebody else. So I started looking around, and I, I bought Success Magazine and Entrepreneur, and started looking at the ads in the back. Did you know that you can make a million bucks a week stuffing envelopes at home part-time at night? Did you know that? <laughs> Now, I didn't buy that either, <laughs> but I started looking for something different to do, and in the course of looking, I figured out fairly quickly that in order to become very successful, um, I needed to get into business. I needed to depend on me, not on somebody else. So I started looking around, and I, was, I got involved with um, several different businesses. The last business that I had uh, before I got involved with real estate was a van conversion company. Um, this was in the... Um, early 80s, um, and I know you are all sitting there looking at me saying he don't look that old, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, right, you got it. <laughs> we'll be friends. <laughs> Anyhow, I, the last business I had was Van Conversion Company, um, and yeah, some of you will remember that uh, in, the, in the early 80s, uh, mid-80s, you could go into a dealer and buy a van where they had windows put in and captain's chairs and a full band. Well, I had a company that used to make those. Uh, and we started that company and things were going very well and we were actually quite successful at it until the price of gas went through the roof. Some of you will remember in the mid-80s, it went just crazy. And the demand for vehicles with 225 gallon gas tanks went through the floor. Well, we tried to keep it alive and we struggled and we worked at it, but ultimately we ended up closing that company. When we closed the company, we had lost all of the money that we had invested in it, and we were about $40,000 in debt. Um, I, I was in Canada at the time. I lived in Ontario. Um, we had a house that we had about $40,000 equity in. I sold the house. We took the equity. We used it to pay off our debts, uh, and we didn't have anything. We were broke, but at least we were out of debt. And now, this, was, this is in Canada in the wintertime. Uh, we were starting over again. We figured we're starting over again. We can start anywhere. It didn't matter because we didn't have any ties here any longer. So I did what any sane Canadian would do at that point in time. <laughs> I moved to California. <laughs> right. Uh, and we figured if we're going to start over again, we'd start in California. So we moved to California. Um, we bought a house. Um, and I got a job because I, I didn't have any capital started a business. I didn't know what else to do. So I got a job, started working for somebody else. We bought our house there. Uh, and I worked with somebody for about a year and a half with that company. And the, the boss, the guy who owned the company came to me one day because we were living in Southern California. And he said, look, if we want to open a branch in Northern California, would you like to go and open it for us? And I thought, well, this is an opportunity. So I said, sure. So we put the house on the market and sold it. And we paid $97,000 for that house in California. And this was in 1986. We sold it in the middle of 1987 for 130. Now, this is when the market was pretty hot in California. Uh, and so we made a nice profit on this house. And it was about this time we're moving to Northern California, and my wife came to me, my wife at the time, and she said, honey, we've lost all this, no, she didn't say that. She said, honey, you've lost all our money <laughs> 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 investing in these businesses and schemes the only place we've ever really made any money is in real estate, and we made it by accident. Don't you think we ought to try it for real? Gentlemen, we 
when your wife comes to you and says something really logical like that. <laughs> Doesn't it piss you off? <laughs> you know, but what she was saying was...